Okay, let's get started with PubWriter. And if you're a Windows user, I'm gonna recommend this free text editor. You just need a, a plain text editor. There's lots of great ones out there and free ones out there, but for simplicity's sake, I think I'm gonna stick with this Notepad++ for the PC. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the download page and just click this download Notepad. They're currently at version 8.4.5. Go ahead and click on the download link. It's going to save it to your computer. Let's go ahead and open the file. Yes. Okay, it's going to install it. I agree. It's going to install these standard plugins. It's probably fine just to leave the default. Next. And yeah, we can create a shortcut on your desktop if you want. Don't use app data. That's okay, all right. So it's gonna install pretty quick and then we'll go ahead and run it. And there's always a kind of readme file that pops up here. We can go ahead and close that out. So what we're gonna do is open up the folder with all of your website files. So I'm gonna click on this open and we're gonna click to this assumes you've installed sync, so I'll have a different tutorial to walk you through that. But you do need to install uh, sync and make sure that you have access to your website folder. I'm going to click open. Oh, this is opening one file at a time. We want to actually open a folder. So we want to go to file, open containing folder, folder as a workspace, or open folder as a workspace. Okay, we'll try this again. Now we can select that folder. So now what you see over here are all the files on your website. If you click on any of these, you'll see a uh, file load. Oh, I guess you have to double click it. And you'll see a file load. Um, this one is just a redirect. Uh, I'll touch on that later, but let's open one here called manifest, double clicking that. And you see here, it doesn't close the other one. You have to close that manually. Um, but this is a little bit of a test page. So. I'm gonna update this and where this resides is the name of the, the file here without the .md is the name of the web page that you would go to. So if we go to clearthespace.com forward slash manifest, this is this page that you see right here. Maybe I can uh, put this here on the left. Well, it's okay. Um, this is what you see right here. So if I wanna go ahead and get rid of this stuff here. I'm gonna change this to download notepad plus plus. Now I wanna link this and so the way Markdown works and I have a Markdown file I'll send you that kind of walks you through this is you put uh, brackets around the words you wanna link and then you link the website here that you want to Link so notepad plus plus dot org copy and paste that and now as long as you've got parentheses around that this is going to be um, linked so I'll go ahead and click save now when you click save if you come back here and you refresh this page um, it's not going to immediately up be updated it can take thirty to sixty seconds to update. And sometimes there's issues with the sync on the back end. Um, and if that happens, I will uh, work with you. Uh, it's usually to do with the sync with the sync folder um, right here. There's something that sometimes you need to update this, but um, generally it works really well. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh this page. And you'll see now it says download Notepad++. So right from here, you can click on that and that'll take you right to that. So you can see how easy it is to make those changes using Notepad++. The, the sync happens in the background. It publishes any changes or updates or any new pages you do in the background. If we wanna create a new page on our website, we're just gonna go ahead and click new. And I'm just gonna put in here test. I'll put today's date. Actually, I'll just put test and then we'll do September 28th. This is an example and I'll go ahead and click save. 
and you need to make sure you save the file in your website folder. Since we opened that as our workspace, we should be fine. I'm just going to call it test and I want to call it .md. Um, we don't want to save this as a normal text file. I think it'll automatically... Okay, let's uncheck this append extension because I think that automatically adds it. We're just going to call that test.md to save us some time. I'll click save and now you will see here that um, this one is still open but this one was just created. We'll wait about 30 seconds and the page then we will sh should be able to see here by just going to forward slash test. If we go too soon, you're going to get this. Oh, okay, that was fast. So in this case, it synced up really quick. Um, let's see if I've got the markdown file in here for you. I don't think I do. Oh yeah, I do. Okay. So this is just examples of formatting and how everything looks when you format it. Um, block quotes and things like that. So I can go through each of these, but for now, I just wanted to get you uh, in, get you to install Notepad++ and open up your workspace folder. And the next tutorial, I walk you through how you do Markdown.